Hello and welcome to this narrative let's play of Wars of the Gods mod for Egypt and this is our campaign episode. We play the role of Fembo Aksut, a long lost descendant of one of Egypt's dynastic families that has received a vision from Anubis, the great lord of the Egyptian underworld, to retake the throne of Egypt, to overthrow the Greeks that rule Egypt and to basically restore comedic pride and glory. While the obsessive Greek barbarian named Ptolemy rules Egypt, the wars of the Diadochi are underway. So while the Greeks fight, Fempho will take advantage of this, and of course he will become an advisor to Ptolemy in the hopes of assassinating the foreign pharaoh, and of course restoring Egypt. Set up the watch. I, Fempho Aksut, will change my name to Amos. Because it is a more easier name for the barbarians. Come to join our us. ranks! And during the later stages of this campaign, the objective was to advise Ptolemy on building armies, on, on building armies and rebuilding Egypt. You? Egypt was still going to be weak in either way, and the ire of the Seleucids would come and try to attack Egypt and of course we had the Cyrenicans who also wanted to attack Alexandria. As Ptolemy's advisor, I, Amos, couldn't let that happen. And of course, rapid economic developments, all of the things that are needed to run an empire, I basically advised the Greek king. Ptolemy will never be a king for some may call us narrow-minded. Some might accuse me of being too hateful towards other people. But what they do not understand is Egypt is a land that needs Egyptians to rule over it. There can be no question about that. What if the Romans were ruled by foreigners? Would the Romans have accepted? Would the Macedonians ever accept being ruled by different foreigners? They never would. And so, it is up to me to advise the pharaoh to make sure that Egypt's armies are strong so that we can expand and our first goal of course will be the conquest of Paratonia or the city of Para. I don't know how the Greeks managed to pronounce that name of course but it is that, it is that city. The city of Para was taken and the Cyrenicans had sent a large force to besiege it. My generals would have to make sure that the Egyptian army would destroy these barbarous... These barbarian...
Dante. I was pleased to report to the Pharaoh that the Cyrenicans would no longer try and attack us. For now. But we would need to be on the aggressor. We would need to build armies. We would need to make sure that the Cyrenicans wouldn't be able to attack us. Pharaoh. Under my orders, I ordered my general to make sure that the Cyrenicans would be wiped out. And they were wiped out indeed. They would no longer be a threat. But Cyrene would keep sending their armies and I had to make sure that we would be ready. That Egypt would be ready to go and fight the Cyrenicans. And of course we also needed the construction of a new navy. Because to besiege Cyrene would be Get the most it, important goal that would be needed. We needed to build, what to expand, and to make sure that we had enough armies to defeat the Garamanchians and the Cyrenicans. Sometimes I have, have, I have a habit of repeating myself, and I do, to remind myself that Egypt will one day be free from barbarian rule. And I would also send my spies as well, because they needed to be sent to all areas of Egypt that were no longer under its glorious control. At one point, Egypt had ruled the entire world. Egypt was the world. And now it isn't. With the successful recruits of these new spies, and the dismantling of our navy for now, I would need to make sure that we would also need to rely on mercenaries Make sure that the invasion of Cyrene would be complete. Of course, while Ptolemy believes that he is directing his empire, I am the one that runs the machine. I am the one that I am the one that runs the cogs. I am the one that operates this empire. Not him. Not the ruler named for P Ptolemy. Not him indeed. Spies in power had reported that the Macedonians had sent a navy to attack us, equipped with ballistae. I instructed the garrison to fight and defend at all costs. Should they win, I would make sure that their families would be comfortable in the afterlife. I would personally oversee their passage to the afterlife, because I had the will of Anubis with me. A great battle was to be fought my spies would need to report that a victory would be secured. If not, those generals would be removed. Advance at speed! At your service!
With victory secured over Macedon, the Macedonian fleet went back to lick its wounds. But the Seleucids, they were coming. My spies had reported of a Seleucid army going to attack Jerusalem. That was what I feared the most. And a great battle was to be ensured. Thank you very much for watching this episode i hope that you like comment and subscribe and i will continue to make such videos like this if you guys want to see more please let me know in the comment section below i will see you on the next episode which will be occasional